Hi, it's Jimmy Chang here for yet another vlog for my kitchen. Today's episode is quite a hot one, hotter than the sizzling beef steak. Gosh, I'm pretty hungry. So, let's dig in. Some of you may have already heard about the latest announcement from Mr. Kataoka and his conversation with photographer Mr. Saito at CP Plus today. Well, to save you some time, I've broken down this broadcast into smaller points so you can digest easier. And of course, yeah, my reaction to them. Without further ado, let's start with some positive first. <music> I know that we've heard the announcement from both Olympus and JIP independently last year and really slamming their slogan, business as usual. But in today's public broadcast, Mr. Kataoka, CTO of OM Digital Solutions, firmly reassured the new company's commitment, not only for its current photographic market, but also expansion into other areas that can utilize its optical technologies. To me, this is good news. But for those who hope to buy an Olympus TV or microwave, may be left disappointed. Despite the new company's first two letters, all current Olympus products will remain. They include the OMD line, pen, and even the tough series camera that many of you asked me over the past few weeks. And audio, which includes the current popular LS and copper voice track IC recorders, and professional dictation products. I know many of you were worried over the past few months, but this is the strongest indication that not only we won't lose any product lines, OMDS is going to invest further development to bring their successors to the market. This really echoed the fact that the Bulletproof Tough Series camera has never been more popular among adventure activists. How many times I've got asked about the Tough camera since this channel started? This is news for you. And also, Pen. Yeah, so guys, just be quiet now. Pen is here to stay too. Although there's no details on what or when the expansion is going to happen, but it's a positive note that the company is going to think outside of the box. Mr. Kataoka's conversation with Mr. Saito highlighted that the separation from Olympus allows the new unit to be more agile, adaptive, and free to implement ideas. Mr. Kataoka also said that they are currently exploring ideas in collaborating with other companies to bring new values to the brand. But like I said earlier, this is nothing like Polaroid or Kodak, who simply license the brand to other tech companies to make products that are diverted from the core values. And having said that, will we see Duico optics in smartphones? Hmm, I can only start dreaming, but this is certainly exciting. This is expected, but I'm glad to hear a confirmation from Mr. Kataoka that OMDS will continue to reaffirm its development in image recognition, the all-singing, all-dancing AI and deep learning technology. We already saw the new bird profile on the latest EM1X firmware just before Christmas. So it's a relief for those who think that the development of this technology could end with the transfer to OMDS. Of course, for most photographers, some of these profiles are very specific or perhaps too specific. Will OMDS further generalize the AI tech to include things like just human or animal? Something to look forward for sure. But whatever it is, I'm happy that OMDS is committed. Yes, Mr. Kataoka has confirmed that Olympus is going to continue with Micro Four Thirds. To me personally, this is the greatest news of all. I truly love and support this format. This is not a sales pitch, nor because I'm an ambassador. I'm speaking as a photographer who's been working in the field for the past 16 years. I don't need to repeat myself, but Micro Four Thirds allows me to do more with less effort. And I mean physically. Well, this may be a negative news to you. When Mr. Saito asked about the Olympus brand, those letters that are currently engraved on each of the products, Mr. Kataoka confirms that there will be an end to the Olympus name. The conversation suggests that the Olympus name will continue on all current development, 
But OMDS will not be a true independent company if the Olympus brand is to continue in long term. Since Olympus is now a pure medical and industrial company, and this is something that all of us will have to accept. But Mr. Kataoka declared that the philosophy and attitude towards the current market remains unaffected. The company simply rebirthed with a new identity that is closely related to Mr. Matani and his OMSLR. For those who pre-ordered the new 150-400 Pro lens, Mr. Kataoka apologized for the delay. It's a simple demand over supply issue. As he stated, this lens is a pinnacle for what OMDS can achieve in terms of optical design. It's a very complicated piece of optical engineering masterpiece. To construct a lens with 28 elements in 18 groups, plus the built-in teleconverter, all require micromillimeters accuracy. It's no easy task. And there's only a handful of lenses being built every day. So Mr. Katoga asked all the pre-order customers to be patient, and yeah, they will be ultra happy when they receive this super lens. On that note, I'm particularly sad because not only I haven't retried it yet, and even if I have the fun to buy one now, I probably won't receive it in a while. So I shall continue to have wet dreams about it. So there you go. I have the link to this broadcast in the description if you want to check it out yourself. But to me, this is the closest thing we get as an official confirmation OMDS is here for the long haul. No more selling, no more stripping uh, DVD players or bicycle. Actually, do they do bicycle? I kind of I kind of want one. <laughs> but anyway, in the end, I'm a photographer who really appreciate the core values of OMDS. As Mr. Katooka quoted Mr. Maitani's famous saying, if you don't have a camera on hand, you will never have any photos. So a camera must be something that you can carry with you all the time. I've said that many times in my live stream and videos, Olympus made photography accessible to the masses. And this has been well written in the history of photography, and I'm glad that this very spirit remains and continues to shine with OMDS. Anyway, what do you think about this broadcast? I know there's no specifics, but it is expected. Are you excited or not? Tell me more in the comment section down below. So there you go, you know what to do now. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to support me and this channel. Peace.